Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I would like to talk to you a little bit about the Ocarina. Now I have never played one of these before. Uh, so a little while ago on Amazon I found this Ocarina by the company Alcott. And um, they make a lot of cheaper folk instruments so I wasn't 100% sold on the quality. <laughs> But uh, I've actually been pretty impressed with this. It was only $21. And for that, I'm actually pretty impressed. <laughs> um, it's a 12-hole ocarina, which gives it a little bit more than an octave of range. Um, if you cover all of your top holes, including these teeny little ones up here, um, that gets you down to a low A. Um, and then taking your hands off the little holes and coming all the way up and even taking some fingers off the thumbs, you can get all the way up to a high E. Um, so there's a decent amount of range there. <laughs> um, there's, it's a small enough range that I found um, you can't really do a lot of recorder tunes or ones that are made for the tin whistle, but um, if you are looking for really simple tunes, those are pretty easy to find in the ocarina's range. Um, this one in particular, I'm actually pretty happy with. I grew up as a flute player, so I'm used to some really <laughs> strong breath support. <laughs> um, so the high notes are actually super easy for me. It's the, um, the mid-range notes. The way that you play the ocarina um, and the way that the chamber is shaped make it so that it can be really hard to play a note in tune. Um, there's a lot of variation that can happen. Um, for instance, so this is a G, <laughs> sort of, um, but listen to the variation you can get by varying your breath here. That's one note. <laughs> um, but by how hard you breathe, you're controlling the pitch. So certain, amount, certain notes will need certain amounts of air. Your higher pitch notes are generally going to need a lot more air than your lower pitch notes. Um, so I don't really have any trouble with the higher notes, <laughs> but some of the low notes, um, it can be real tricky for me not to blow them sharp. So that's something that I am working on right now. Um, another thing I wanted to show you, I'll show you how pretty it is. <laughs> I like pretty instruments. It is my weakness, definitely. <laughs> but it does come with this really cute little carrying case, um, which since it is ceramic and a lot more breakable than some of my other instruments, I do like to keep it in its little case. And it also comes with this nifty little book. Um, don't mind the creases, that's from my kids. <laughs> which is actually a pretty good introduction to playing the ocarina if you are interested in doing it. Um, it has, for each note, it will tell you the fingerings and um, it gives you a number and sheet music. So depending on if you're more comfortable just playing from the fingerings or if you'd rather do it with sheet music. There's a lot of ocarina tabs out there, tabs. <laughs> they're not like guitar tabs. They're not typically like numbered. Mostly what I see is just little fingering charts <laughs> that go through the whole song, which um, feels limiting to me as a person who reads sheet music, but it can be really handy if you don't particularly want to learn to read sheet music. Um, Another interesting thing that I noticed about the ocarina compared to a lot of folk instruments out there is the community is a very different kind of community. <laughs> a lot of folk instruments, um, you know, you mostly have some older people and uh, they're trying to keep the tradition alive and it's really amazing and that's part of the reason that I love folk instruments. Um, because I do want to keep the traditions alive, <laughs> but the ocarina um, subculture, I guess, seems very focused on like fantasy novels and video games and anime and <laughs> so there's a lot of really cool songs that you can find out there if that is your thing and that is one of my things, so <laughs> I do really enjoy it. Um, so that is 
about all I have to say about this ocarina. It's pretty cool. Um, so I'm gonna play you a song so you kind of get a an idea of how this guy sounds. <laughs> ¶¶ 